Good morning, Stampers. Happy Hump Day. It is Wednesday, so it's time to play with some stamps in my studio. So if you guys are out there, give me a like or a love. Let me know that you're on. I am live in the studio right now. Every Wednesday, I come at you from my Jody Breckbill Stampin' Queen Facebook page. 10 o'clock a.m. for What's Up Wednesday. Now, normally the last Wednesday of every month is Wow Wednesday, where we do some over-the-top, very cool projects. But just giving you a quick notice that I am going to shut things down for a little bit. It has been insane in my studio this last month, um, which is wonderful. I am I am so happy that we are still able to keep on stamping despite things that are happening in the world. But um, I'm gonna take a little vacation. So my farmer and I are gonna head out of town and uh, take a week off and just decompress for a little bit. So no Wow Wednesday next week. I will be traveling in the car to an undisclosed location. I'm not exactly sure where we are going. So anyway, I hope you all are well. I see you guys coming on, so that's awesome. We'll do a little housekeeping while everybody rolls in here and then we'll do some stamping. So I did wanna make sure everybody's aware, if you haven't heard, we have a designer series paper sale going on this month and it is, uh, flying by. October is moving at the speed of light. So uh, just a reminder, this sale ends October 31st and um, we have select papers 15% off, which is very cool. I have been stocking up for my holiday card making because some of our Christmas cards are on here and my favorite uh, I think, I'm going to say Plaid Tidings is my favorite. I've, I've used like five packs of it. I absolutely love it. I've been putting it in as part of my to-go classes. My team just got it for their team, uh, team gift. So anyway, designer series paper sale. Then I'm going to give you a little sneaky peek. You guys are probably seeing lots of things done with the curvy celebrations. This is uh, early release. We as demonstrators are able to purchase it now. So you're seeing some demos making things with it. And I was uh, telling my team yesterday, I tried not to buy it, guys. I really, really tried not to buy it and it fell in my cart, so I have it. I just haven't had time to play with it yet. But this is actually going to be an upcoming special for you as customers in November, which means you can get a, a, a jump on it. And then it is going to go into our next catalog, which we're calling the JJ Mini Catalog, the January through June Mini. So this uh, stamp will carry you quite far with your investment because you have lots and lots of time to play with it. Now, of course, I mean, you guys keep things. I tend to move things that retire. I move them on. So, uh, but yeah, it's totally... Uh, a fun little stamp set with some cool dies that we really don't have, haven't had something similar to this before. So it's got nice little curves in it. We've got some designer paper. And uh, then I do believe the Christmas uh, part of it is only available for a select uh, period of time. So just letting you know about that special, and I will be showcasing more with that because I have a very cool idea I'm gonna do around curvy celebrations. The other thing I'll share with you is my Jolly Gingerbread. And if you guys are Paper Pumpkin fans like I am, I think we're gonna love this Paper Pumpkin kit. This will be November's kit. It looks like a little gingerbread cookie, the box, which is so cool. And then it's got some gingerbread related projects. It looks like maybe it's gonna be maybe tags or gift card holders or something. If that's really not your scene and you guys are the tried and true, you love your cards, check out Paper Pumpkin Fan Club run by Rachel Tessman on Facebook, there are always tons of outside the box uh, ideas uh, using your kit and changing it into uh, cards or whatever it is that you that you need. So you can do a prepaid subscription or you can do uh, an actual, actual monthly subscription. You just have to do that by November 10th to be able to get the Jolly Gingerbread kit. So I think the Joy to the world paper pumpkin kit is on its way. Some people are starting to get it already. So whenever mine comes, we will be doing something uh, with that. 
Uh, what else did I want to share? Um, just real quick, I'll let you know, like I said, I am going to go on vacation. So after my Christmas stamp of stacks next week, I'm going to shut the studio down for a little bit. And that means I'm not going to have just cards class. So if you guys are my just cards folks, uh, which normally we meet the first Tuesday of every month, I am going to cancel just cards in November and enjoy some time away with my farmer. Alrighty. So, you know, I always do a, a prize patrol. So I just saw, someone hop on and watch and so I was super excited when her name popped up because the winner of last week's prize patrol is Nana Sherry so congratulations Sherry newcomer this is going to you of course I think you were just here picking something up so um, I will get this ribbon to you uh, so thank you so much for joining me and this week I have a pack of the whisper white no cards and envelopes So this is going to be prize patrol for this week All you need to do to get your name entered is to comment below and Make sure that you like love and if you share uh, my video with your crafty friends, you're gonna get an extra uh, Door price ticket so whisper white note cards and envelopes these make super super quick fast cards love having them on hand So prize patrol for this week now, um, as always, you can see up here my website. You can hop over there any single time you would want to. You can shop 24 hours a day and have everything shipped directly to your house. And uh, that is my host code for this month. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Good morning, friends. I love seeing you guys pop all over here. It's so fun. I, I was actually toying with not having wow what's up Wednesday today because I am like insane in my studio right now I have a huge weekend retreat coming up in Gettysburg uh, we leave tomorrow to start setting up the room and then we'll be gone Friday Saturday Sunday and then I come home and I have my Christmas stamp stacks and I was like oh my gosh I have so much to do if you could see my studio it looks like a bomb went off but I was like, no, no, I love visiting with my online friends. So we're going to do a little bit of stamping today. So this is a fun stamp set that again, another one, I'm not a coffee drinker, but I think this set is so stinking cute. So this is called Press On and it's what I like to call a sleeper in the catalog. Sometimes you'll find that there's just a little stamp set. It's very unassuming. It's just hanging out in the corner, not really shouting at you with its dies and its punches and its gorgeous coordinating paper. And um, this this is one of them. The press on stamp set is actually on page 68 in your August through December mini catalog and it is a million dollar stamp set by Joyce Farrako. So uh, when you have a million dollars in sales with Stampin' Up! in your career you get to design your own stamp set and so this was hers and it really is not um, holiday related and so I think that's why I just kept kind of passing over it and then all of a sudden look what happened. It jumped in my cart. They do that, these stamps. So we're going to play with that today because we used it at my team event on Sunday and they seem to really like it. So um, whether you're a coffee drinker or tea drinker or hot chocolate right now, my, my um, go-to is peppermint uh, hot chocolate. So yeah. So, oh, okay, Sherry, cool. I will have your ribbon for you. I don't, I'm not going to put that in the mail then since I'll see you Tuesday. I forgot. All right, so let's go ahead and get creating here. So I do things ahead of time and package them just to make things a little bit simpler. And we have a piece of crumb cake cardstock. So I cut this one at four and a quarter by 11. So it's the long side. And... I'm realizing I don't have my glasses on, so let's hope I can stamp well today. I just got back from taking the dog for a walk and was going to run to my hair appointment. Ah, oh no, I'm out of adhesive. That always happens, doesn't it? Well, maybe there's a, no, I don't think there's any more in there. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna do a little stamping here. And I need some crumb cake. Coordinate with this. And some little beans. I got my little coffee beans here. And I do think I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap paper just so I'm not stamping on my table. So I just did some coffee beans down in the bottom corner. And 
There we go. And we have a coffee cup, the smaller coffee cup. We're going to stamp in Memento Black on a little scrap. Oh, I can't see. A little scrap of white here. Then, well, we'll just get all our stamping out of the way. How about that? I've got a white square that I did ahead of time, and that's with our stitched shapes. And I'm going to pull in Mary Merlot and do my A Cup of Thanks down here in the bottom. I always like to get all my stamping out of the way, move, close the pads, move them on. And I did ahead of time did an, a little bit of embossing. So I took that Mary Merlot piece and I embossed that ahead of time with the texture embossing folder. So it's very, 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 uh, what do I wanna say? Uh, unassuming, it doesn't give you, it just gives you a little bit of texture. So I love this one and I also love the subtles. That's one of my favorite, the subtle embossing folder that just gives that paper a little bit more texture without being like crazy. So now I have a piece from Plaid Tidings and that is cut four by one inch. So I have the double tag punch. I'm just gonna slide it in here. Now I still like to just look, I, I turn it over. Do you have to? Not necessarily because it's in the groove and it's gonna do what it's supposed to do, but I still, I think just out of habit, I just punch upside down. And I'm just gonna give a tiny little notch to that one. And we'll attach that to the back of my white piece. Just gonna line that up kind of in the center and then some dimensionals, some pop dots on the back of that. <clears throat> so that's gonna just get lined up here. I did it a little offset, so it's not exactly in the middle just offset a tiny little bit. Now, as I said, with having an unassuming kind of uh, stamp set that doesn't have punches and dies and all the fancy la-di-da that goes along with it, that means we have to fussy cut. And I don't mind, I don't mind fussy cutting. It's not too hard. It's a little harder than it used to be because I'm in the bifocal babe club. And so sometimes that makes things a little tricky when I've got my bifocals on, which I don't have right now, which is actually making it even trickier. So there we go. And what I did also was on a piece of scrap, I embossed, I stamped just the sleeve and then I embossed it. And now I'm gonna cut that out and overlay it. So this is what we would call paper piecing. And it's straight cut, so it's not so bad not so bad at all and a little adhesive on there and so now it actually looks like one of those little sleeves from like the Starbucks right because it's kind of wavy I guess then we can add a couple pop tarts on here and we have ourselves a super cute little thank you card um it would be cute too if you did. I did not leave myself enough space, but like the steam, you could do the steam coming out of there. But there you go. Super cute, quick, fun little card. All right, what else do I have for you? Let's see what's in my box of goodies. All right, this one, we're playing with some Oh, you know what? I'm going to want to score that. That is our, th I used our thick uh, whisper white. And with thick whisper white, I like to do a score.
if you try to fold it, it kind of breaks the fibers and you have a little bit of a mess. So there we go. We just did a little quick score on our thick whisper white piece. Then I have a piece of that plaid tidings that is cut three by five and a half and I'm going to attach that to a piece of pumpkin pie. I just love I just love the plaid tidings. I love it, I love it, I love it. I can't stand it and it's on sale. So snatch up some DSP people. Snatch it up. Good morning, good morning friends. Some of you are popping on here. I love it, love it, love it. I'm glad I didn't cancel on you. I wanted to, well I didn't want to, but I thought maybe that would be a wiser choice, but I didn't. I wanted to see my online friends. So that's just a little bit longer than what I need. So I'm just gonna trim it down with my scissors. My little paper snips here. No big deal on that. So now I've got, uh, what do we need? We need black, or memento black, because I am gonna do a little bit of coloring. So let's stamp our little strip of coffee cups here. So there's our coffee cup strip. And then we need a little saying to go here on the left side. All you need is confidence and lots of coffee. There we are. So then since I did it in Memento, I just pulled in my pumpkin pie and my blends. And so I'm just gonna do my dots. There we go. What else? I'm gonna do some stripes. And I'll do my little heart here. And then we'll just color in this little sleeve here. Just little pops of color. And the pumpkin pie is one in that plaid tidings. And then the other color I pulled in was Mango Melody. And I'm just going to do some color in here. There we go. So you can always add, you know, go back and add more color if you choose. I can always go do a little bit more coloring, but I wanted to, I've got a lot to show you. So I want to keep things rolling for you. But I just love, I love, 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 love our blends. Love them. And then we'll just attach that here. And there's another quickie card for the coffee lovers. Again, I've got a little bit sticking off there, so that's no big deal. Again, I'll just come in with my snips, trim it down. And there we go, card number two. Oh, you don't have a very cute coffee cup today, Debbie? You need to get one. A cute coffee cup is a must. It's a must. All right, so we've got another card here to share. This one I use, my card base is gonna be Cherry Cobbler. So we'll fold that in half. I have a piece of designer series paper that is from the Heartwarming Hugs. That's another one that's on sale. Another one that I love, a little more geared towards Christmas. And I did a piece of Old Olive and I did texturize that one a little earlier. 
uh, as well so that you guys didn't have to watch me run through run things through the big boss all right so we'll attach this here and that can now go on the front of our card I thought these two colors looked really, really pretty together. A little like Christmas, but not necessarily, because we got the red and green. Uh, then we're gonna throw in some, oh my gosh, what is your name? I always wanna, it's Mossy Meadow. I tend to call him Mellow Moss, which is an old color. Some of you out there probably remember Mellow Moss. It was definitely a lighter shade, definitely much lighter than Mossy, Me Mossy Meadow, but still, again, it was a favorite from back in the day. All right, now I have a piece of white here, and that's just some scrap. We're going to stamp the bigger coffee cup on this one. Give a little stamp there. Now I'm going to pull in my blends. I've got my light and dark old olive, so this is gonna be my quick lesson. And I just do my shading here. You could use your big, big fat brush end if you wanted to. So I always kind of think where the sun would come, do some shading. And then I pull in my light and I just start to go over it and bleed it together. And I like to color in circles. I'm really shaking the table. I don't know if I'm shaking you guys or not. My table's really shaking. So the more I go over that left corner, the darker it's gonna get and then really start to look lighter as I go across my belly band or whatever whatever they're called, sleeves, I guess, right? Are they sleeves that go on your coffee cup? I, again, I don't drink coffee, so I don't know. So every time you go over, you're laying down another layer of color. So you start to see where you get the light and the dark shading. Alrighty, again, we gotta do some cutting. All right, somebody, what did you say, Debbie? What are, what are your name? I'm not sure, I'm not sure what you mean. I can see some comments coming through, but not everyone's. I have, I have some very serious sun glare on top of my phone, so it's hard for me to see the comments until after I'm done, and then I go back through and usually try to answer you guys or say hello to you guys. Thank you always for joining me on Wednesdays and hanging out in my studio with me. Well, I guess you guys are in your home, which is nice. You could be in your jammies, watching some TV, checking out some stamping. Um, now I have my old olive ink pad. I did this ahead of time with our So Sentimental, or no, I'm sorry, Stitched So Sweetly dies. So I'm just gonna do the press on there. <clears throat> and I've got, hmm, missing an ink pad. It's back here. I need a little, just a little strippy here. Missing a stamp now. I found it we're just gonna use I don't have a block but that's okay I have there's a little teeny heart in there such a little cutie so I just wanted to stamp a little teeny heart 
Oh, I'm with you. All right. So I saw your comment. I got you, Debbie. I saw your comment after I had already moved on. So I got your, yes. I'm asking them all the time. Who, who are you? What is your name? And where did you come from? You've been a stamper for a long time. You know how our brains are like overloaded with what it used to be. We used to have this and we used to have that. And then sometimes... I am like, well, where are we now? All right, we're just gonna fussy cut this little heart out here. Put him in the middle of our coffee cup. And I'm gonna use a glue dot for that. It's just so much easier than, I don't want a dimensional because that just starts getting it a little too puffy and sometimes the male people don't like that when you have lots of as my male lady says frou-frou I always have frou-frou on my cards alrighty dimensionals on my cup there we go and then I have some linen thread and I'm just going to tie myself a little bow I've got two pieces I like a double bow And then we'll use a glue dot for that as well. Isn't this a cute little card? Super, super cute. Glue dot, boom, there we are. Can trim off any extras we need to. Ta-da, love it. All right, I have one more card for you guys. And still using that plaid tidings. Have I sold you on it yet? Have you all got, guys all gone out and bought plaid tidings? DSP pack. Oh, love it. Get it while it's, while it's still here because it'll be leaving before we know it. Um, actually, next, right, wait, next weekend? Next weekend's Halloween. The weekend after, the first weekend of November, my team and I are actually going to be doing on stage at home, which is like our convention that we have, our demonstrator convention, uh, but it is virtual. And so we will not be going to Salt Lake City this year. We will be hanging out in our craft rooms, watching on our computers, but we get to see sneak peeks and previews of the new stuff that's coming. Can you believe it? New catalog is coming soon, which means you guys, celebration is coming. So you guys all are familiar with celebration, right? It's such an awesome time to get free stuff. We always have amazing specials for hosting, for purchasing, and for joining my team. We always have amazing specials. So celebration is coming. Um, I don't know if you are aware, if I've mentioned it before, but celebration is shorter this year. It's only going to be two months instead of three. So it's only January and February. And this is what I'm most excited about. You know, we've always had some struggles with Chinese New Year and a lot of our products are made overseas. It just is what it is. There are companies in the U.S. that do not make the things that we need, such as dyes, uh, such as punches, uh, embossing folders, that kind of thing. So we do have to go overseas and Chinese New Year is always like a big, a big thing and it creates some backlog with shipping. It creates back orders. Um, their, their new year is not the same as our new year, and so it does create some issues. And so I'm super excited that Stampin' Up! is working really hard for January and February celebration to use products sourced locally. So I want to support that big time this year. I want to support them in trying their hardest to make a huge special that we all love sourced locally that we don't have to worry about um, trying to ship things literally on the slow boat from China. So I'm super happy about that. That was just a little sidebar. I got so I got I got subtracted or distracted. I, I don't even know where we are anymore. We should get back to stamping, right? All right, so I've got some misty moonlight cardstock. I folded that in half and then I have three strips of our plaid tidings with that super beautiful blue. That is misty moonlight and saw seaside spray. So I'm just actually, I'm betting, I'm betting these go together. Should I try and make them line up? That seems like it might be a lot of work. 
Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna. But I cut them. Oh, no. I cut them all from the same paper. I don't care enough to try to line them up exactly the way that I cut them. So we're just gonna put three strips down here. I feel like I might be a little bit crooked. I, f I feel like I am. My eyes are getting a little buggy here without having my glasses on, but that's all right. I like that this adhesive is a nice, strong adhesive. This is our new stamp and seal. I've been using my stamp and seal plus big time this week because I'm doing little favors. Um, I like that it is forgiving. Actually, I'm gonna slide this one over. Uh, that I can actually pick this up and move it. It's not such a strong adhesive that I can't shift things a little bit, but then when it's stuck, it's stuck. So I'm really, really pleased with that. And the Stamp and Seal Plus means business. When you stamp that, you're, you're, you're gonna be stuck down. Like, it, it, it means business, which is fantastic. Uh, man, I had some kind of funny accent. It was fantastic. Um, it, it's really, really good when you're doing like favors and that's what I've been doing. Treat containers, things that you do not want to come apart. So, all right, we've got our strip of coffee mugs there. Keep that open because I want to stamp my sentiment on a piece of crumb cake. And we're going to use, hope your day is full of perks. And that's it for the stamping. You can get out of the way. I'm gonna pull in my super cool little notchy notch punch. I might have to do more than one. Yes. I cut that strip away. Save a little time here, Breck Bill. Cut it way longer than it needed to be. Much better. Alrighty, so now I've got more blends because I told you I love them I wasn't a liar and we're just going to do some soft sea foam no try again so I'm going to ask it again what is your name you are not soft sea foam because then you would be green you are seaside spray color that one a little color here stripes and then I've got Rococo Rose definitely need a little pink heart here and we'll do some stripes on you what else do we want to do let's go ahead and do Stripes on this one too. And then I have Misty Moonlight. So I'll make those little polka dots darker. And we'll do this one too. A little bottom of our cup will be blue. All right, very, very quick. Now, more dimensionals. Oh, some of you are still coming on. Good morning, good morning. So happy to have you here on a Wednesday. I love it. All right, pop dots on there. Got that sticking up there. Then I can put my little sentiment on. on. I'm gonna have it stick off a little. I kinda, I'm kinda digging that. Now, where's my little teeny heart? 
Hmm, I don't have a cleaner with me. It's all right. I have some Rococo Rose. And I need a little bit of scrap. I have quite a mess going on here today. Quite a mess. A little pink heart there. I don't know if you guys, can you hear my dog? I don't think you can. Oh my goodness, he is having a rough morning. He is moaning and groaning like his rough, his life is so terrible. Alrighty, so we'll just do a little heart here and then I'm doing that double bow again. Two strands of our linen thread and then I can just kind of finagle those little ends there because I kind of want it to be not a huge bow a little, little teeny tiny and glue dot and done yes love it so I don't this set it just it just spoke to me I love the little coffee set and I know I have the other coffee set the one that's got the words with coffee and chocolate and cocktail so here's your cards one two three four quick cards using a super cute little stamp set called press on there you go all right kids thank you so much for joining me don't forget to leave comments because I will do prize patrol it, since I'm not going to be on next week I'll just announce it um, so <laughs> all you hear is the lawnmower from the neighbors. Well, my dog sounds like a lawnmower, Kathleen. I mean, he's back here like, oh, I thought, my gosh. And actually, I took him out for his run this morning. Um, and so if you're not aware, I have a Great Dane. Um, he is about a year and a half, and he is probably a little over 160 pounds. So I take him out on our farm fields, and I let him run. He's got to burn off the zoomies because he just needs to run. Well, today, uh, he and I collided. And I've been waiting for it to happen because when he is out running, he is just like full on and so excited and I don't know what happened. I just remember thinking, put your hands up because the ground is coming at your face. And I mean, he knocked me out. And I was trying to catch my breath for a little, what felt like maybe I was out there for like 10 or 12 hours. I'm sure it was less than a minute. Thankfully, I was thinking I had my cell phone. If I could actually catch my breath, I could get my cell phone and call my husband to come get me. And I'm like, no, I'll just catch my breath. But you guys, I am a wreck. Like, I am super, super sore. Um, I know tomorrow, I don't think I'm going to be moving very well, which will be awesome because we are supposed to set up our weekend retreat. But I'm not sure if I didn't bruise some ribs um, because taking a breath is really, really tough. So I'm kind of laughing that he's back there like, oh, and I'm thinking, yeah, buddy, you really don't need to be moaning and groaning because I'm the one that took the brunt of your hit so oh no Deb she just said that press on might fall in her cart today <laughs> I'm so sorry it's like um I'm like a, I'm like a pusher <laughs> all right guys thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for a little bit on this Wednesday don't forget next week I will not be on I'm gonna take take a little bit of a vacation um and uh, then I will come back and join you uh, in November. So all right, friends, have a good one. Talk to you later.